Hello everyone, I'm Major Jip, and this is my Apple IIc. Um, the Apple IIc was released in uh, 1984. Uh, I believe discontinued in 1988, so I could be wrong about that. Um, it's running a 1 megahertz processor, which, um, actually it's around 1.33 megahertz, I believe. I know it was slower than the NES's processor, because the NES had like a 1.66 megahertz processor. So, um, yeah, less powerful than an NES. Um, its top competitor was the Commodore 64, and um, this was much more expensive than the Commodore 64 was. And it relies solely on uh, floppies for a floppy drive. It doesn't. It um, has Apple Basic built in, I believe, um, or Pro DOS or something. But uh, really, you need to have a floppy in in order to boot it at all. So, um, as you can see, it's in pretty decent condition for being as old as it is. Um, the keyboard needs some cleaning. The unit itself does need some cleaning. And um, yeah, as you can see. I actually really like the keyboard on this. It um has a good feeling to it. Um yes, as you can see. Finally that's in focus. And um I also have the Apple color monitor that came with this. But um that's just kind of on the other side of my room on my other desk at this point. Because um because you could actually connect this thing directly into the of glove. Didn't expect that to be in there. Um, <laughs> why was that even in there? I don't know. Beats me. Um, so as you can see, it goes into this splitter. I have it on channel 4, so change that to channel 4. That's my NES. That's my GameCube. And uh, that goes into the TV up there. So... Now, I need to turn on that television right there. Alright. And, um... It's hard to get any of the software out one-handed. Um... So I do have all of the original system discs for this. Uh, they're just getting piled up on my uh, computer keyboard right now because I didn't really prepare for this. So uh, to demonstrate, I'm going to load up the Apple at Play. The Apple Apple presents the 2C once it focuses. Come on. As you can see, um... Alright, I don't think... That reads, Apple presents the Apple at play. Apple presents... The 2C, the Apple at play. Finally, it focuses. And, um... This one is ProDOS based. Which, I believe, is this thing's... OS? Maybe? So, how you install a put in the. Uh, Alright, so. You have to unlatch this, push it in. That unlatches. You put the thing in, the flop in, and you latch it down. First time I pressed it in, which releases it. So, um, then there's a power switch back here. So I'm going to point this at the television and I'm going to turn the switch. And as you can see, there's several softwares that you could run from this main menu. 
Um, I don't actually think that's coming to focus, but oh well. So, by the way, this does put out, or at least this one, the American release, does put out a NTSC, um, NTSC composite video, which means you can connect it into any uh, television. I believe in the, even the uh, HD TVs that are being released today have a uh, standard composite video input. So let's uh, load up music recital so we could listen to some of the audio that comes out of this. Just as a note, this actually does have a built-in speaker, but um, I have it. I have it plugged into my. Um, plugged into my television. That goes right down there. I don't think you can see it. And if you unplug this, it starts coming out of the speaker under there. It's, um, I think it's basic MIDI uh, output, MIDI output. And um, I guess that about wraps it up for now. Um, I also have a printer. Maybe I'll show off the monitor for it. And I have a whole lot of software for it. So. I guess um, I'll upload that when the time comes. Or when I feel like uh, recording something about the software. So uh, this is Major Jip signing out.